Kristen Long. I'm John Long. I'm her husband and the crew chief co-pilot for the week. <laughs> uh, we're from Godley, Texas. It's about 30 minutes south of Fort Worth, Texas. We have a 84 Chevette. It has a 4.3 liter V6 in it and we're out here running the 12-0 class. So we built this car. This is her car. Um, she's done half the work on it. It's It's been built in our garage at home together. That's a 40 over, 4.3 liter. It's got flat top pistons, H beam rods. It's got a 580 lift hydraulic roller cam in it. Uh, Vortec heads that was worked by um, Lloyd Elliott. Pratt Racing Engines built the engine. It's got a turbo 350 in it. Uh, we built the car to come do this event last year. We got it done like two weeks before the event. I raced it and she was the co-pilot and um, she's driven the car about three times before this event. This is her first first shot at the drag and drive stuff. Her yeah. first quarter mile pass was the beginning of the week here yeah. at Noble. So I made, yeah, my first quarter mile pass was here at Noble. Um, my fastest pass was at Motorplex. I went 12-10 at 1-11. I think after the whole event, I have like maybe 10 quarter mile passes under my belt now. She did awesome. <laughs> it started off smooth <laughs> and then it didn't. <laughs> yeah, she went 12-30 here. Uh, we knew it was gonna be a little bit slow because the altitude, the air and, and all of that. Um, we weren't necessarily prepared to try to speed it up. It just ran what it ran and we were just gonna accept the average for the week and try to make it through. The drive to um, to Dallas wasn't too bad. It was just a little warm, but didn't really have a whole lot of issues. She went 12:10 at Dallas. Yep. That's when things started kind of going downhill. We left at 5:30 in the morning, thinking we were going to beat Dallas traffic. We ended yeah. up getting stuck in traffic. Yeah. Smack Drop and go. In the middle of it. Bumper to bumper. Um, I think we hurt the transmission between here and there. When we got to uh, Tulsa for day two or day one of Tulsa, day two of the week, it wouldn't shift. She'd hit the shifter at like 6,000. It would run all the way up to 7,500 at the high side and it wouldn't shift. So we struggled and struggled and struggled trying to get it to run. She turned in like a 1240 that day. Yeah. We changed the transmission fluid. There was crap in the bottom of the pan. So we cleaned all that up, put new fluid in it. The drive the next day, she burned up a plug wire. We got bad gas and it ate a distributor gear up. Yes. So the next day we at Tulsa, we figured all of that out, fixed everything. Um, I think it went to 12, 12.32, yeah. which we had the shift chip lowered just in case so it would actually shift. Um, and it did, so she went 12.32 there. We yep. made the drive here yesterday, not a whole lot of problems. And so we're just gonna see what it does today. Yep. We plan on doing the bracket race today. She was a little bit worried about hurting the car more because it's, it's got a couple cylinders that had some oil on the spark plugs the last time we changed them when it was running bad. So the motor's a little bit hurt. Transmission is probably hurt. Honestly, the rear end's making just it's, a little bit of noise. So it's been a rough week on the old Chevette, but- uh, <laughs> We're gonna keep rolling until the car doesn't We're gonna go fix it anymore. when we get home anyway. So she might as well get some seat time and have some fun at the bracket race. <laughs> 12.31, she went 34. So gives her a little bit of room. Hopefully it don't break out. 